found myself wondering why do fans? Shit, I've only got six minutes of recording time. Whoa, quick, I better be quick. Um, um, uh, frozen up because of pressure to speak. Why do fans always end up hating the thing that they're a fan of? Have you noticed this? I'm a fan of Doctor Who, as well as many other things. You know, I'm not uh, like one of these proper fans that, that completely and totally loves one thing and obsesses their lives over it. But I, I, I very much like Doctor Who. The Russell T. Davis era was brilliant. The Steve Moffat era was brilliant. And now we're in this Chris Chibnall era, with, era, which is crap. Sorry, but it's just really, really boring. And I tried to like it. And there were little elements here and there that I liked. And she's fine as the Doctor. That's okay. That's not a problem. But it's just really boring. Every script, from the point of view of a, of a writer myself, every script comes across as if it's like a first draft. And it's usually the first draft is, you know, it's terrible and it's, 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 it's just there in order to have a framework to then build something good from. So just watching things idly on YouTube, all these videos kept coming up as what's happened to Doctor Who, who wrote Chibnall is the new enemy of Doctor Who and all this kind of stuff. And it's astonishing the amount of viciousness that the Doctor Who fans have towards this new series, season. Um, and I, I, it also linked me onto other videos of similar things people who now hate star wars and people who hate star trek and people who hate this and people who hate that and it just seems to me that there's an awful lot of hatred out there from people who love things towards the thing that they love just because it goes in a different direction that's one of the reasons why i love cinema i love movies it's my they're the all-time ultimate art form as far as i'm concerned because they contain everything they contain human interaction and then contain dialogue and comedy and music and dance and movement and beauty and horror and disgust. And, you know, they've got all these things in a moving visual medium. Books are great, but they're just words. And people say, oh, you have to have your imagination. Oh, fuck that. You know, the strange thing about me, actually, I don't think it is that strange. My imagination doesn't ever switch off. You know, it's going all the time. And, and people who've seen my work, one of the things they frequently say about it is very imaginative. There's a lot of... A lot of ideas in there. It's, it's built of lots of ideas because I'm always seeing things and thinking. So when I when I settle down to watch a film or to or to relax, the last thing I want is to is to have my imagination inspired because it's it's tired at that point. When I were relaxed, I want it to switch off. So I want to be completely absorbed in someone else's imagination. Thank you very much. And I don't want you asking me to think because I can do that on my own. It's like when people say, oh, go see that film, it'll change your life. Oh, it'll change the way you think. I say, well, you obviously don't think very much then, do you? If a film can change the way that you think, then obviously you've got nothing going on in there in the first place. Am I wrong? Maybe I am, I don't know. That's why I hate films that don't end properly. I mean, as a filmmaker, I should I should be more receptive, I, I suppose. There's me talking about hate again, love and hate. You hear filmmakers bragging about, oh, well, I, I, I want people to go away from this film thinking about the story. I want them to take it away and to work out for themselves what happens to the characters. And I'm, I'm like, well, don't insult me with that. If I'm going to commit two hours or one and a half hours to your film, that's all the time I'm committing to it, thank you very much. Entertain me from beginning to end, and then when the film finishes, I want to go away and forget about it. Or think about it if I choose to. I don't want the film to be so fucking unfinished and flawed at the end that I have to invent my own fucking ending, you twats. <laughs> You don't have my permission to do that to me. So end it properly. Tell the story. Bugs me. I'm feeling quite aggressive today. I don't know why I'm feeling aggressive today, because it's the first day of my holiday. I've got a week off from work. I'm a, a man of leisure. Maybe I'm actually kind of afraid of that. Ah, well, not a lot of laughs in this video, I don't think, but uh, something for you to take away and think about. Oh, I hate it when they do that.